This short video demonstrates how a new feature of DB2, Online Schema Change, can ensure uninterrupted service to your critical data. Online Schema Change helps DBAs and application developers simplify management of database objects, allowing them to change the definition of tables, views, and other objects without ever interrupting access to users. As part of this video, you will learn how objects can be recreated without dropping them, how DB2 automatically revalidates objects, how objects can be created using objects that don't exist, how columns can be renamed, and how column data types can change on the fly. And you will see how to move a table from one table space to another without losing access to that table. These examples use the Technology Explorer for IBM DB2, a demonstration platform connected to a live DB2 database. You can now take advantage of the new Create or Replace syntax that is applicable to functions, procedures, views, modules, aliases, triggers, variables, and nicknames. As the name implies, this syntax creates the object, or if it exists already, replaces it. This command uses the Create or Replace clause to recreate a view called Full-Time Employee and a function called Full Name. When the Auto Revalidation Configuration parameter is enabled, objects can be created even if they use objects that don't exist yet. The view Full-Time Employee depends on the function Full Name. The function also depends on the table. In this script, the view is created before the function which is created before the table. Initially, the full-time employee view and the full name function are marked invalid, but they are automatically revalidated the next time they are used. In this example, the revalidation happens automatically during the select from the full-time employee view. Let's run our script. As you can see, all of the create commands executed successfully and the query returned the results from the full-time employee view. In this second scenario, the employee table had two mistakes in its definition. First, the employee ID column was created as a varchar data type instead of an integer type. Second, there was a spelling mistake in the name of the salary column. To solve this problem, you can use the new alter table options, rename column, and set data type. The Rename Column option lets you rename an existing column in a base table to a new name without losing stored data or taking the table offline. The Set Data Type feature lets you change the data type of an existing column and supports a wide variety of cross-compatible data types. For example, using Set Data Type, you can change an integer column to a varchar, varchar to decimal, date to timestamp, big int to small int, and much more. This command alters the data type of the employee ID column from varchar to integer. Let's run these commands. Both alter table commands succeeded. You can continue to read from the employee table throughout these changes. Before you can write to the table, you must call the admin revalidate object routine on the employee table. The next section shows another way to change the data type without losing write access to the table. You can move a table to a new table space without losing access to the table with a routine called admin move table. Using the same procedure, you can also alter a column type, drop a column, change its table space, or generate a new compression dictionary. During this operation, you will be able to read and write to the table. This next scenario shows how to update the employee table that was initially created in user space 1. At the same time, it shows how to move the employee table to a newly created table space, new TS. The move is successful. And you didn't lose access to the table. You can commit the change to the table, and after the refresh, you can see that the employee table successfully moved to the new table space. We've just shown you some of DB2's very powerful and easy to use features that will allow you to make changes to the database while the objects you're changing remain online for application and user activity.